just got a jumpy spider. Here's some absolutely essential things that you can get for them. Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoodapod. I'm David and today I'm joined by a couple of my Conyers, Pickles and Scampi, who are going to be helping out with this video. Today I'm going to be talking about my top five jumping spider essentials. Now, I'm going to assume you've got food for your jumping spider, you've got them a nice enclosure, that sort of stuff. But these are really useful, fun things that I've found that really help to enrich my jumping spider's lives and make my life easier. So I'm going to list off my essentials right now. So coming in at number five in my essentials list is a feeding bowl. Now this is one I didn't think I'd be having as an essential. I thought my jumping spider would be happy hunting, and generally they are. But I found having a feeding bowl high up in their enclosure, it's just, hello for example, it's just really, really useful. A, if I want to put a bit of uh, food that I may borrow in there, or B, just so they have somewhere to access food if I want to leave it overnight, or just something they crawl over. It's basically another bit of enrichment in their enclosure. So I found a feeding bowl is really, really useful. Coming in at number four is furniture and enrichment. Now you may not think a jumping spider would need this, but you've got to see their enclosure like their bedroom, their habitat. So you want loads of nice high up furniture and enrichment for them to climb over and enjoy and hide in. It's really important to help your jumping spider settle in, feel happy and feel content exploring that enclosure. Because if there's not enough of it, you may find they spend all their time in the ceiling and just sit around not doing very much. Now coming in at number three is a hide for your jumping spider. Now a hide is absolutely essential. It's just something they can retreat to, hide in and feel safe in and often web up. Both of our jumping spiders, Blossom and Tank, have webbed up theirs. The others are all busy with that already. More on that later in another video. But yeah, having a hide for them is really important. And you can have it as a sort of fake material one or you can have it as a natural hide where there's some plants they can just go in between the leaves. It doesn't matter. Just having a hide for them is really useful. And I really love the sort of cauldron we got for Blossom and she absolutely loves hiding in it and peeking out. It's very, very cute. Number two is a heat source. Now, depending on where you are in the world, how warm you keep your house, etc., where your jumping spider is located, you may not really need one. But I find almost every single person needs some sort of heat source, even if it's temporary. I've got a video on keeping your jumping spider warm, which I'll leave a card for now. But I find it's very useful to have a heat source, and we use something called a snuggle safe. It's basically just a microwave or pad for dogs. And we just find it great it doesn't cost much money it just goes in the microwave and you pop it behind their enclosure at a bit of distance and it helps maintain that temperature overnight or when the house gets cooler it's very inexpensive it's very useful and it's a great halfway house in between like getting a heat lamp or anything like that which could have come with some drawbacks so far no drawbacks with this really useful to get a heat source if it's really good i'll leave a link to the snuggle safe at my amazon store so you can check out and decide if it's the right heat source for you now coming in at number one, and it's an absolute essential for all jumpy spiders, no matter what type you have, is a light source. They have exceptional vision, and sometimes the environment we have is a bit dark for them. During summer or lighter months, or depending on where you have your jumpy spider, it may be less essential. But I find having some sort of light for them is really, really useful. Because sometimes they can be active in the evening, because sometimes they can be dusk hunters. So having a light to help them do that is really, really useful for them. It helps illuminate their environment so we can enjoy them, and it helps them find their prey and generally navigate and enjoy their environment too. So guys, that's it. That's my top five essentials for your jumping spider to just help their life, enrich their life. If you have any other essentials, I'd love to hear from you down below in the comments. But in the meantime, from me, a very cheeky scampi and a very relaxed pickles. Take care and see you later.